As more and more people look for jobs, the process is changing. Fewer people are reading applications. In October, Chipotle started using Avocado, an artificial intelligence powered recruiter that screens potential employees, schedules interviews, and answers applicant questions about the company. Will this help or hurt your chances of getting hired? Derek James takes a look. When you apply for a job, odds are AI is working in the background, or in the case of my 16-year-old son, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Right in front of your face. Well, you see it in resume screening, you see it in actually conducting interviews, you see it in retention, and even uh, like employee uh, monitoring and reviews. It's meant to speed up the initial stages of the hiring process, but not everyone is on board. 71% of U.S. adults oppose the use of AI in making a final hiring decision. 41% don't want AI reviewing job applications. Laura Cummings. I currently am looking for a job. Falls into those groups. If you don't have the right words in, in the resume or the cover letter, like, you just don't move ahead. AI filtering qualified candidates out is just one problem. What are some of the biggest ethical and legal concerns? The legal concerns are focused on this question of bias, and it's largely unintended bias. At issue, says attorney Nadim Schwen, is something known as the black box problem. In many cases, we have no idea how AI systems make their decisions. What can companies do? Educating themselves on the tool, doing a risk assessment, because there, there are risks of this unintended bias, and testing it, testing it themselves internally in-house, uh, to see what's going on. The ultimate solution may be government regulation. Oversight is eventually going to be something that I think that is going to increase. And there's a lot of focus also on the developers of this software, special regulations that apply to them that will, I think, solve that problem in some way or at least help with it. Until then, there are some things you can do to protect yourself. Make your resume AI readable. Simpler is better with a focus on skills. Focus on buzzwords for the industry and the employer based on the job description. Use AI to your benefit. The right software can polish resumes and write compelling cover letters tailored to the job description, but edit those suggestions to sound more like you. Finally, make your social media private. There are definitely bots that are crawling the web uh, trying to gain additional intelligence on applicants. So keeping that in mind can probably help people uh, control their public profile a little bit better before they get into the application phase. The Minnesota Consumer Data Privacy Act passed this year goes into effect in July of 2025. Now it regulates automated decision making, which is creating a profile based on a person's personal information and then making some sort of consequential decision based on it. But Jeff and Aaron, mm -hmm. it remains to be seen how that's going to work. And I think a lot of the details of that are still trying to be figured out because the problem in this case is the law is trying to catch up to the technology. Mm -hmm. The law catches up, then the technology moves another step. Sure, I was surprised. I mean, keywords make sense on a resume, sure. right? It's gonna like scan you to see right. if you're compatible, but like combing social media yeah. to find, you know, what? What are they looking for? Well, and that's what you wonder is, are there biases because of the programmers, you know, that mm -hmm. those, you know, unintended biases then go into their software? And so you really have to have a lot of transparency to be able to see, okay, what is the starting point? And then where did that decision come from? You know, I'd hope that it can maybe create a pool of good candidates, but at the, at the end of the day, someone face to face is looking at these resumes, is doing the interviews and making that decision. Yeah, my son went through the process of one of these, not uh, Chipotle, but another restaurant, did the whole thing, filled it out. It even offered him an interview. He got to select his time. He got a cancellation. <laughs> he never dealt with a person oh my <laughs> the gosh. entire time. They decided two days later, oh, we filled the position, and you get an email saying, I yeah, forget it. Bizarre times. Thanks for navigating through it for us.